good everyone welcome to food wars challenge accepted Russell so today I'm gonna make some egg bacon macaroni and cheese a macaroni and cheese for breakfast so let's see what we're working with so far okay we got some bacon going on in this pan here gonna add some eggs and some good old liquid gold so stay tuned because this is going to take a minute to cook so we'll be back i'm back okay it took a minute for the bacon to cook so you can see how what's going on with this bacon here now we're going to add to so the next part of this we're going to add my ham and onions So while I'm cooking this up here, I like cooking my bacon and my ham together with them onions. Ooh, it's looking amazing. Look at that. Ooh. It's gonna be some good stuff, y'all. Now we gotta put my patented, gotta put my patented garlic powder. Gotta love that garlic powder. It's one of my, uh, it's one of my go-to spices. I have certain spices that I do. You know, salt, of course, you're irritable salt. A little bit of that in there. Now let's see. Where did she go? A little bit of parsley. A little bit of that parsley. But we'll add that later though. And next, we're going to let that cook for a little bit. Especially, no, you're going to ask why do I do it this way? Why do I cook it this way? Okay. I've been cooking for the last 15, 16 years. Okay. I cooked all through the military. One of the things I learned is, like, certain things are going to take a little longer to cook than others. For example, like the bacon. Bacon takes longer to cook, so I put that in there first. So, and um, then after a while, then I add the uh, ham. And then the onions. So, now, since this is just about done, what I'm going to do, I usually, I like to cook certain dishes like this. I like to... Uh, Ooh, yeah, that bacon's getting crispy. I like to uh, cook it all in one pan sometimes. Just like this. Like, you're going to notice I'm cooking this all in one pan. Just because I, I prefer to cook it that way. And next, we're going to add the cheese. So stay tuned. And now, I'm adding the egg. Okay. Now, another reason why I do it this way, cook the eggs, they, they usually... It's usually, uh, they cook less, you know, it takes less time. So, um, so that's why I cook it this way. Also, you don't have to coat the pan. One of the things that most people don't either, uh, realize or know, or maybe you do or maybe you don't, whatever. It's just kind of how I do things. It's, you can use that grease from the bacon to, uh, cook your eggs with. So, ends up turning around real cool that way. So... So we're going to go ahead and let that cook for a few more minutes, and then we'll return to add the noodles and the cheese. Stay tuned. Part Okay. You're going to notice that I didn't really cook the eggs all the way through. Okay. Because uh, I cooked them, like, most of the way through because I'm going to be adding these noodles and this cheese and this liquid goo. So we're going to add this. add a, just a little bit of milk just a little bit of milk now I use uh, use all milk you know because uh, you know it's uh, non-allergenic and stuff um, and throw some of the shredded cheese on it too shredded cheese on it too and then just a little bit of milk, and I just throw a little bit of milk in, just to give it a little bit of sauciness to it. And then we throw in some noodles. Well, I'm gonna let that cook for a minute and throw in these noodles. Well, we can throw them in now. Already got some three pre-baked noodles here, you know. A little bit more, I think. Yeah. So then, what we're gonna do? Let's 
throw it on there, let it steam for a minute or two. Then we're going to stir it all up. And then we'll see what the final product looks like. Stay tuned. So from the last step to this step, all I did was just move everything into a, a more of a bigger pan. I, I thought that would work out better. So yeah, look at that. This is my bacon, egg, and mac and cheese. Or spikes mac and cheese. And we're going to get a taste test from my daughter, Mooney. You make sure it's not too hot. It tastes wonderful. I wish I had a thousand thumbs to put up, but I only have two, sadly. I wish I could put up a thousand. It's awesome. That's how great it is. Hey, you heard it here. That you heard it from the. Uh... Heard it from my daughter, so, all right. I think I got you beat this week, Russell. Stay tuned next week to Food Wars.